Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick. And today I'm going to do the very highly requested video that I'm not quite sure how to explain uh, super well, but uh, this is how to make coins in uh, NCAA football. Uh, I got 900 coins on here. This is one technique I use to help me get through solo challenges and head-to-head -head seasons uh, when, I'm, when I don't feel like grinding. So you see I have 900 coins, so if I go play a solo challenge, um, say I play the weekly, if I play, say, the next game, I get a thousand coins. Getting to 1,900 coins seems a whole lot better and a whole lot more exciting than getting to 676,000 coins. See, it's, it makes it a little bit more interesting to make coins when you have nothing. Uh, so that's one of the strategies I have: move all my coins to my other account and then play solo challenges, or the opposite: move all my coins from my second account to my main and then play solo challenges. Um, but that is not the best way to make coins, that's just the way to make head-to-head -head seasons and solo challenges a little bit more exciting to play. Okay, so now if we hop on to my second account here, um, let it connect to the EA servers. Um, if we hop on here, let's see here, I have 986,000 coins, almost a mil. Uh, just sold a Herschel Walker, Graham Gano, Brandon Albert, David DeCastro, and Ed Reed. Um, all cars I sniped. I've got some more on my auctions that I sniped. Um, Takeo Spikes, Michael Huff, Joe Staley, D'Angelo Hall, Ted Ginn. I probably need to repost these so they sell because uh, I don't want the bids, so I'll probably repost them. Heath Miller, Nick Mangold, and uh, Brian Balaga. But I haven't seen none of these. Were, neither of these two were on the auction, so I may have to go check and repost. Because uh, I have them up for 25000 a piece, which is a little high, but I wanted to see if somebody would buy them. Um, so what I do is I go and search. I just want to look up real quick and see if there's a Charles Woodson up yet. No. Okay. Um, so say I search. I want to get um, uh, Desmond Howard or Tim Brown. So search legendary wide receiver, and then I will search by buy it now price. Um, there's nothing really to snipe here. I could bid on the Charles Woodson for 10 minutes, but I'd only at max make 5,000 coins, and for a card of that much value, like of 200,000, it's not worth it to buy it for that much. Um, if I was down here and I bought a Tim Brown um, and made a $5,000 per coin profit, it would be well worth it, but I'm not making a 5,000 coin profit. When you're dealing, with my, my philosophy is... Um, one to ten thousand coin range. I want to make about five hundred to two thousand coins. Um, on ten thousand to twenty-five thousand, I want to make about two to four thousand. Uh, from twenty-five thousand to fifty thousand, I want to make about uh, three to six k. And then off of fifty to hundred, I want to make about five, about four to seven or eight k. A hundred thousand to about four hundred thousand, I want to make. Uh, 10 to 20k, and anything above that, I want to make 30 to unlimited amount of profit. Um, that's just how I look at sniping and whatnot. Uh, if we go look at like RG3, um, who's pretty expensive, and uh, he's a desirable card, but he's pretty expensive. So when you're dealing with a card like this, you want to try to snipe it. Um, sniping can be, you can. You can put a definition on sniping um, as getting a card for 150 coins or just getting it for a really good deal, a really good price. Like earlier today, I brought up Brad Norton for 150 coins. Um, all those cards that I sniped, um, they weren't really technically snipes. They were just really good deals. Uh, so there's the RG3 or the Tim Tebow. Um, which I would probably buy one of these just to do the Heisman collection if there wasn't a Desmond Howard. See, there's this Tim Tebow for 400000 and then the next one's a million. But the thing is, I don't want to... I don't want to take the risk on the Tebow because this thing has been up for, what, six hours? No, about five hours and nine minutes. Uh, that's, a, that's a while, and I'm pretty sure this has been it. It's been just these two Tebows up, and nobody has bought it yet. Um... Most people, I would say about 80%, 85% of the people playing this game right now don't have over 500,000 coins. I would say about 
85% don't have over 200k. Say about 90%... Wait, this is going backwards. My bad. 90% don't have 500. Uh, about 85% don't have over 2. 80% don't have over 100. There's just a lot of people with a really low coins right now. And so when you're dealing with the cards that are higher priced, such as the Tim Tebow, the Desmond Howard, um, the uh, RG3, just guys like that, you there is not a really big market for them. Um, so like if I wanted to buy out a Bo Jackson here for 950000 which I actually could, um, I, well, I could go discard a couple cards on my reserves and I could buy this Bo Jackson, but I don't want him because probably to sell him back, I'd have to repost him for a mill. I'd have to sell him for a mill to make my coins back. Sell him for 1.1 mil, that would be the what I want, maybe 1.2. And the odds of that selling are very low. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to save up coins and keep my coins so that when a Charles Woodson becomes available, I can get it. But I don't want to spend all my coins. I will for the Charles Woodson, but in regular situations, I don't want to spend my coins because I want to be able to still be able to buy and flip cards. Um, some of the ones that I do, uh, since um, since the really expensive ones aren't prop, well, they're profitable, but it's to a certain, uh, what am I trying to say? It's to a certain people that can buy it. You gotta, you gotta find the right people to actually spend the coins on it. So here's one of the big ones I like to uh, look up and try to buy is the Randy Moss. Um, he's currently up for 46000 You can't... I bought one earlier today for twenty eight. If I wanted to, I could probably put him up for forty, and he he might sell, which that'd be a 12k profit. Uh, but I don't want to... I, I want that Randy Moss for my other account, or for my main account. Here's another one I try to snipe. Um, Ted Ginn, who is the fastest player in the game with 99 speed, and I think he has 98 acceleration. Uh, so there he is. I think this is... no. Is this mine? Yeah, that's mine right there. Um, but 13k, uh, you can make a decent profit off of this. I found a couple up for 8 before, uh, so I made my 5k profit off of that. Um, sometimes he goes for like 25k, uh, sometimes he goes for 8. You just gotta try to catch him, and you can't let, um, you can't let yourself buy him and then have the price never go back up. So you got to watch out for that because uh, that can royally hurt your uh, your profit line. Because you want to go, um, I'd say you want to make profit off of every 1 out of 10 that you buy. Um, I know it's better just to not take any loss, but sometimes it's better to risk it than to never try at all. Uh, here is another one that's good to, to buy um, is the David Castro. Um, there are only three up, one for 18.59, one for 21.99, and one for 25. Now, if it was just a 25 and the 18.5, I would buy it and probably repost it for the 22, which that's a good price, people. The guard position in this game is really desirable. Um, not many guards that are good, uh, so most people are looking to pay. So if you go search left guard here, you'll see that there's not many up. Uh, there's the Chance Warmack, who is 11,000, which I actually have one of my actives uh, to sell. Uh, you got Hutchinson, who is also going for 11, and then you got Brandon Albert, who is going for 17. What you just got to do is with these, um, you got to look for them to go under 10k. Um, maybe Hutchinson and Warmack, you want to look for them to go under about 7k and buy them immediately. These are the only three left guards that are. Um, that are good, that are above a 90 overall, which is, you know, everybody's trying to build the, their, the best team available. Um, so these are the best three, so you got to keep your eyes out. you got to try to look these up. These are ones that you're really going to want to look up um, because they're a desirable position. That's what I tell people when they ask me how I make coins. you gotta, you got to look at desirable positions and desirable players, such as Randy Moss. Um, people want him... He's a desirable card and a player, so that makes it he made it's a hot ticket item. Another one to search up is the Michael Vick. 
Uh, people want him because of his speed. I believe he is the fastest quarterback in the game. I could be wrong, but I do believe he has the fastest quarterback in the game. He's a little bit cheaper now. He was going for about 20k for a while, but he's down to eight. Uh, you could still snipe him. Um, yeah, you can snipe him. He's not. He's, he doesn't have the profit line that he used to. I'm actually going to buy one for this account. I currently am using Denard Robinson, but i rather use the quarterback that I usually do on my main so I don't get like messed up or confused um, because I usually play with a left-handed quarterback. So uh, it's just easier for me to play with them. Also, another good one to look for is any of the legendary halfbacks. Um, you can kind of cut the odds, like... Uh, Cut the number you got to look at by searching for Ohio State because you can see Archie Griffin and uh, uh, Eddie George. Where's Ohio State? There they are. Okay, so if you look at this, um, you're going to see Archie Griffin and Eddie George. Archie Griffin is usually cheaper. At, yeah, he's at 9000 And if you come down to Eddie George, he's at thirteen. Um, if you see Eddie George under ten k, usually a good buy. If you see Archie Griffin under seven, it's usually a good buy. Um, this, this really just takes patience and time, uh, so what, you, what I do, flip on Netflix, right now I'm watching Rules of Engagement, and, uh, just sitting back and kind of watching it, and checking the auction block periodically, maybe play a game here and there, and then check the auction block again, it's really a tedious process, it's not that fun, uh, but if you need coins, it's the way to go, um, another good card to look for, um, is the QBs, uh, the USC ones, you can actually, they're really cheap, so you can actually, um, it's actually pretty easy to flip them for about a coin, uh, not a coin, a thousand coin profit, um, because there's so many and they're not that desirable, but people do buy them. Like here, you got the Matt Liner for 4,000. I'll buy them just to kind of show you. So I bought the Matt Liner here for 4,000, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them up for 5,900. Uh, which is a grand cheaper than any other card on the auction. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and what you're going to want to do is put it up for 5900 without a bid. Uh, so um, if nobody happens to buy your card, you can just let the bid rack up and usually make a decent profit, and if the bid doesn't get to where you want, just go right down uh, here to your auctions, go to my posted auctions, and uh, just remove it. Just pretty much just remove it. Probably remove the Takeo spikes and repost it because uh, 850 coins isn't very much. I could probably just put it up for like 2,000 and have it be bought immediately. He is a little bit expensive, not too much, but he's a decent price. Uh, Michael Huff, I know he's. I know I could get like 15,000. I have him up for a little high. I have all these guys up for a little high. If I drop the price a couple thousand, they'd sell immediately. Um, but just trying to maximize profit on them. And if they don't sell, by the time I go to bed tonight, other than the Takeo Spikes, I will probably repost them. Um, and then the last way to make coins is to open up packs. Now, if you're going to spend money, uh, um, the best way to do it is, let me go to the store. Uh, what you're going to want to do, it depends on what Microsoft points you're buying. Um, if you're strictly going for high-rated players, which is usually what people are doing when they're opening packs, uh, which that's the way to make coins... What I found out is if you buy an 8,000 point, this is without season ticket because I'm on my other account. I'll actually hop back onto my main just to show you the prices for season ticket holders. Um, just This is kind of math that I figured out in my head uh, to show you uh, how to make, how to maximize your coins and packs. So if you come down here to store, you go over to veteran packs. If you buy a 50 pack, you get if you buy two fifty packs is eight thousand Microsoft points. That is a hundred packs and four guaranteed players. Now if you buy a thirty eight pack, you buy two of these, that leaves you with sixteen hundred left over. You do have only seventy six packs, which is twenty four less than this. But what you can do is you can come down here and buy a fifteen pack bundle, um, which will get you another bonus ninety five rated or ninety three plus rated player, which that's now five of them, which is one more than this, and it bumps you up to, what would that be, 96, or 76, um, 86, that bump you up to 91. And now with the, with the uh, amount of Microsoft points you have left, which that is 420, I think, 420, no, it's, 
320, you can buy three of these, bringing your total up to 94. So you're only losing out on six packs, but you're getting another guaranteed 93 plus rated player. So if you want that, that's a way to go. That's a way that I've found that kind of works. I've tested it out. Um, if you, any of you want to know, um, I spent $200 on this game. Um, I already had, I bought the 100 when the initial game came out. I had a, already 100 enrolled or like on my account, so I just spent it on this game. Because I get that question all the time. So I've really only spent 100 actual dollars. I had 100 on here. Um, they, they want, it wouldn't let me spend Microsoft points because I have the new beta system. I'll show you if I go into here. I still have like $60 left on this, but they refunded me some money, um, gave me a few Microsoft points for it. Um, because I have the beta, you'll see it won't let me buy it because I don't want it to spend on my credit card. So I have it kind of blocked off. Yeah, it won't let me authorize it. Uh, so they moved it over to my other account and I was able to purchase some crap on there. Um, which was not the greatest because I can't, I don't have the season ticket discount. So I only got 38 pack bundles instead of the 40 or the 50. Uh, but it was, it's whatever. Um, but I'm up to nine, almost a mil. Uh, I want to get to 1.5 soon so I can get that Charles Woodson as soon as it becomes readily available to purchase. Uh, which I'm guessing I might have to wait till next weekend sometime, um, because I'm willing to pay the one. I'm willing to pay a million coins for him. I'm even willing to pay 1.5 ish if I can get there. Uh, but who knows? I gotta get up there. Um, it's gonna take some time. Uh, sorry for the long video, guys. I just tried to explain this as well as I could. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it. It's pretty simple. It's like. It's as simple as just saying buy low, sell high, which is usually what I tell people. But people want me to make this video, uh, so I thought I could try to explain it a little bit better. Um, I'll just open up a couple packs here just to show you guys that this is probably not the way to go. Um, with coins, you're probably going to want to spend money if you want to open up uh, packs to make coins. Um, those promotions that they did, um, I didn't really make any coins off of it. You saw my video, I lost coins. And so... I already did the um, I already did the collections for this week. If you hold on, let me go back. Uh, collections really aren't good, but I was pulling a bunch of packs. Uh, so what I did, okay, I sold my uh, Dwight Freeney, so that's why it's like that. But if you do these, if you just happen to pull the cards and do them, uh, it's not really a big deal um, because out of these, I collected all the cards and started discarding them, and it got me 1,250 coins right there, and it got me 5,000, so that's 6,250 coins, uh, so not too bad, and it got me the reward packs. I think I made about 10,000 out of doing these collections instead of just discarding the cards, because uh, out of one of these gold upgrade packs, I think I pulled a Revis or something. I pulled something good. Um, you do get the discard value of all the cards, which it's about, I would say, about 4,000 or 5,000 just discard. Um, so it's worth it if you're opening up a bunch of packs. I'll open up one more here just to kind of show you. Um, really, at the point I'm at with coins, I'll just discard crap because I don't really need the lower rated players. I could sell them, probably make about a 2k profit off of all the ones I pull. Uh, Sergio Kindle, not a bad pull, but anything really below a 90. There are some below 90s that uh, really help, but nothing too great. Uh, so I'm going to stop buying packs because they really don't work out for me. Uh, I probably have the worst luck pulling packs uh, on YouTube. But uh, that's going to have to do it for this video. There's my Charles Woodson Heisman hopeful. Um, if you guys haven't seen my video where I showed the Charles Woodson, uh, I'll show it real quick at the end of this video for any of you that stuck around for the whole thing. Um, where is it? There's Charles Woodson. Um, there is a 93 Heisman hopeful. Uh, 93 speed, 99 man, 95 press. His 93 card is amazing, and, and it would be awesome to have. Um, but if we move over here to the Heisman winners, where is he? Come here, Charles. There he is. Um, he has a 96 overall now, and he's got 95 speed, 95 zone, 95 press, 99 man. He's just an animal. Um, and he's also a 99 overall. He goes up by uh, 3 overall each time you do the collection until he's a 99 overall in the last one. Uh, so just wanted to let you guys know that. If any of you pulled Charles Woodson, uh, just message me on Xbox or hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter's always in the description. 
uh, just hit me up. Maybe we can work out a deal. Maybe um, you could cut me a little bit of a deal. Um, I can hook you up. Uh, hook you up maybe with a bunch of mutt coins and cards plus my one million coins. Uh, maybe we could work something out. I just need some valid proof that you actually have the card, and we could do something as simple as I'll give you like the mutt stuff, and then you put the Charles Woodson up for a mill, and I get it. Uh, just something like that. Just let me know if you got him, and you can give me some valid proof that you actually have him. Uh, maybe we can talk and work out a deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I think I already said that. Uh, but I will catch you all later. Peace out.